Jose, congratulations. Ten wins out of ten here at Old Trafford this season. Was that one of the harder ones? Yeah, I, I, I want to be. I want to be honest and give them what they deserve, um, Chris and, and Brighton. And um, what they deserve is for me to say that probably they deserve more than the result they got. I think they they played really well. They they had. Um, a very good defensive organization, of course, with a lot of people in a compact block, but that's that's good defensive. And then when they had the ball, they were they were dangerous. They come out for counter attack. They they try they try to to find us a bit unbalanced. So honestly, I think Brighton was very very good, and um, many congratulations to them because a few months ago they were playing in. In the championships, I think we were more, more spirit and 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 heart than than quality. Um, sometimes to play with um, too many attacking players doesn't mean that you are offensive. And um, that was what happened today. We had a lot of attacking players on the pitch, but we lost a bit of control in um, in midfield, and uh, we had some problems. But um, you know, in Basel, a lot of time should be 5 0, and in the end, we lost the game. And today, the game was, was really difficult, and um, we won it. Do you regret them picking so many attacking players on the pitch? No, I don't regret because I picked them up against uh, Newcastle, and against Newcastle, we won, we won 4 1. So that's not, that's not to regret, but this is the reality of football sometimes. Sometimes to, to, to have too many attacking players on the pitch doesn't mean that you are offensive because sometimes you lose balance and when you lose balance you don't create many chances and the reality is that we, we didn't create many chances. We, I don't remember a part of the last minute in the first half, I don't remember um, a, a, a great save by, by their keeper, honestly, and, um, and that's it. I don't think we, we had big control in midfield, but we had some performance with an amazing, with an amazing effort. Uh, I think, as an example, Lukaku was was tremendous. And then in the last part of the game, when the team needed to defend, and we had Zlatan on the pitch, uh, he was playing wide, wide left. For me, Lukaku was an example of a team that, even not playing well, wants to win. Are you? Disappointed with the way you performed, or at the end of the day, you don't care. You got the three points, and you put a bit of pressure under City for tomorrow. You know, I play amazingly well in the first half against uh, against Basel, and uh, and we um, we lost. So the most important thing are the points. But obviously, we want to the points. You want to play well. You want to play perfect. And today we were not perfect, and we didn't even play very well. Thanks, Jose. Thank you. Chris, even Jose Mourinho said that you didn't deserve to lose today. Was it a what might have been afternoon for you? Uh, yes, and um, I certainly feel we didn't deserve uh, to lose. Um, it was it was almost one of them games where it, um, it was either going to take that little bit of brilliance or a little bit of fortune, and of course they get the fortune with the de deflected goal. But but I thought we was uh, well worthy of it, uh, at least a draw today. I thought some of our play was good. We restricted them to m uh, minimal chances. And um, we need Matty Ryan to make one really good save for us. But but apart from that, I can't think of a real clear opportunity that they had in, in the 90-odd minutes. And you had some good situations, didn't you? Yeah, pro probably the, the, the two most disappointing things are, um, yes, we got into some really good positions. And um, you know what they did show United is that they're, they're physically strong and they can defend very well and we, we needed to make more of them uh, and the goal itself you know my view at the time thought it wasn't a corner that was my view but then when the linesman gave it I presumed that he must have seen something and certainly haven't seen it again it, it wasn't a corner and uh, so that makes it a little bit more well, to be fair, we've just spoken to Lewis Dunk, and he said Solly March felt that he did make the touch, and it was a corner. Well, well I've just seen it again, and it looks uh, <laughs> completely different to me, I must admit. Well, have a chat with Solly afterwards. But, well, but... I, I, I shall do, and, and some t testament to them. Solly, Solly probably should have cleared it um, before them. But, um, but in a tight affair, we were, we were very, very good value, and uh, really disappointed not to come away with anything. What's the biggest positive in this defeat? Um, I think the fact that you can come uh, here to 
certain a, a top six team and a, a certainly a, a team that to have the quality that, that Manchester United have and uh, and be confident enough to come and, and uh, look to play. You know, as what, what the options are is to come and sit back behind the ball and and wait for the inevitable. But but I thought we we got into some really good areas. We we looked to get into certainly into that final third as often as as we could. You have to play on the break a, a little bit. Um, but I thought we were very brave on the ball and um, a, lot, a lot of good performance today. This was big today, but it's special next week as well, isn't it? Crystal Palace at home. Yes, well, that's um, that's midweek, and then of course at home to, to Liverpool. So the games are big, um, but what we need to do, we, we're back home, and we need to make sure that we get back to to getting some points. Disappointing today, but we need to pick them up and get back to getting some points. Thanks, Chris. Cheers.